now, Testimonies Time with Pastor Ulf Lukau. A daughter of Zion praying along with Pastor Ulf Lukau all the way from the USA grabs a prophetic word concerning the healing and restoration of her eyesight. Days after she received this powerful word, God remembered her once again as he used Pastor Arf Lokau to put an end to the demonic oppression of wicked spirits that tormented her. Family of God, this is Beverly McBean and I have been watching your service uh, since uh, 2019. I came across you on um, YouTube. And since then, I have been stuck with you. And uh, I am so thankful to God for Him placing you in my path. I am so thankful for that and for the teaching and the prophetic word. I thank you so much. I pray a lot, sometimes two, three hours before I met you. But every day, I try to to get into the time with you in prayer. And um, back when you had your fasting for 40 days, and we, we had fasting, but not for 40 days, but I tried to, to do some with you. And um, after your fasting and your first um, service, and then you have the prayer, and uh, you were asking for everyone to claim their healing uh, at that moment and I have been diagnosed with glaucoma for about eight years now glaucoma in the eyes and um, I did a surgery that did nothing for me it instead of helping me it it was worse and um, so I have to go frequently because sometimes the pressure in the eye gets so so high and I get pain in the eye so I go frequently to get checked and but this time I miss my um my checking period because of COVID day 19 it's cancelled but when you pray that night I touch my eyes I put my hands like this over my eyes and I claim my healing and like two days later I Notice that my glasses that I have on my face <laughs> was getting a little bit blurry and I'm like what's wrong with my glasses and I took my glasses off because I could not see any fine print without having the glasses on everything was just black strokes with a long black line through I couldn't make out a letter in the word so I took my glasses off and I got something to read and look at it and I'm like oh my gosh I can see words I can see letters and I took it off and I'm reading with bright light I can read without my glasses and I said I just proclaim my my healing and give God thanks my glasses are kind of shady now because my vision is changed and I can't wait to go to the doctor to have him check my eyes and to identify with me. I'm not going to tell him what happened. I'm just going to ask him to let me do my testing without my glasses on because every time I go, I have to check with my glasses. So I give God glory and praise for this that he has done through you, the messenger, and me believing and trusting as I've always done. And um, second of all, I also had um, pain in both my, my legs, in the back of the heel coming up. I could not stand from the bottom of my heel to coming up to the back of my legs. Just a fire, like a burning fire. When I went to the doctor, I could not explain it. I just got off my bed over a year ago and find that I cannot stand on my, my feet. They were like just something shooting me uncomfortable in the, in the heels and a burning sensation. And I went to the doctor, I couldn't even explain it. And I told him I did a research to, about this feeling in the heels and I told him what I saw and he 
he told me that's what it was and I asked what would cause it if it's my years of trodding on my feet at work and the rough roads as a child bare feeted and he said that could be possible but he said he didn't have a treatment for me he gave me a ointment and I used the ointment a couple of times it did nothing for me and so I discontinued using it and just continued praying. I stuck the heels inside my shoes with some like um, gauze to help ease the, the pressure. When I go out and I come home, I'm in misery. I go out, I can't stand up too long because of this thing under my heels. And another time after Easter that you have prayer for healing and everyone over the world and you call down some of the names of whatever the healing would be for what part of the body or what illness and I claim mine for my my feet a few days again later I got off my bed I found out I could stand up on my heel but not with that sharp shoot pressure that I get uncomfortable almost to throw me down and so it continued to progress where now I went to the doctor about it and this is what the doctor told me the doctor told me it was I let you see the paper and he gave me all kinds of exercises it's called plantar fasciitis I did a few of the exercises but they weren't doing anything and ever since this prayer after Easter I don't feel any more pain in my heels are burning fire in my heels glory to god i'm so thankful and i'm expecting greater miracles to happen for me for my family and uh, i i just i just praise god for you and thank you for for being obedient to god and and for leading your children right, leading God's children, and they are your children, we are your children, and I, I give you thanks. I set up a little altar in my room, as you said, as you preach along, and my little altar, when I have some money, I put it aside, I'm saving, because I said one day to come, I am going to take this little envelope that I have there st sticking things into and bring it to you. I need to come to get my prophetic. I'm praying that God will allow you to reach me. That when I get my prophetic, I can take the plane and come there in the name of Jesus the Christ. And I give all the glory to God and give you and your family of God. Thanks for your faithfulness in Jesus' name. Your spiritual cover matters. There are battles we can fight on our own, but there are battles that call for a higher anointing, a supreme anointing. It does not matter what hindrances you are experiencing, be it demonic attacks, illness or setback. When you come into contact with the Grace and Alleluia Ministries International, when you connect to this altar, every hindrance will fall before you in Jesus' name. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Afluk Howe on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Afluk Howe on all social media platforms at Afluk Howe.